my dependent bully say Bandagui to Kuni Nonke, Gwendao, and a Kuzo as a Bingalela, go Babchata, no Baba Um Tabati, no Fundi Sutuba, a Siabonga Kulu Basibe, Ule platform Gunye. Today we are starting a series. Yeah, yeah, Apostles' Creed. Jengobaz uh, Saziwa. Um, so I just want to welcome you. I just want to say uh, this is your space uh, where we put our heads together to look at the scriptures and uh, to engage, uh, to bring our different uh, interpretations of the scripture. So you are welcome. This is the Lage Ukba Pamgoba Sikale Si Senze Umtandazo. I don't know whether we have a volunteer Umdu Onga Snyder as Kokele M. Tandazweni as we start. Do we have a volunteer? Tell us Tandazweni. Goes. Master Dance. Bawetu in Wale, Bautuna Mandong, a seven go see, and the Sucres was an Azarete. Kalchona and Gosilang, so the lips swinging back, who says Gob, Rana Lenting, so ye to sit to Sapageme, a scamboni of Fananao, Wing Wengosizo, when I'm Tanji, we are Shalu Corner, Bang Chunga Kukukukukio, Susodela Pango Sobak, Babotu in Wale, Sikelos Colele, Aposi and Zanga Corner. Dwala Lenzi Disoye, Tuxias Bang, Aboto Inuele, Siona Gokted, Siona Gokinga, Siona Nangoguenza, Bau Inuele, Sivuma Gonke, Dwala La Pagate, Mascala Gosi de Pipe Stadis, Stellangos Stande, Geka Zi, Liga Yesu Christ was an Azarete, Usnegas and Gosiam in Debet, Oetu, Zokula Pula, Seskula Pula and Gosiam, Usnegas Amanda, Oglenzi Lizuilaco. Imegon kosi vuma, imegwi nga vumi. Snege la gen kosi, babo to ingwele. Mdana wako soza ukuba chikwe tule topi. Yo bwana, mo ingwele singena. Chikwa mshika nga ganana. Ungonzonga chikwa wetu. Ipila yokolo wetu bandi akolo. Kuchikwa yise. Siza wege sumanta. Stella nkosi ya musi ongezelele. Ukolo chikwa wetu. Kaspetu nulezi zbalo. Tu alale nsi jiso yetu. Muze nkosi singe nzimbo kela. Singa bwana gali skula pula ngo kaila. Siguze ngulungulo ingwele kbele ni chito wetu. Si bwana gali si puma sa singa safani na se kale ni. Oye ingwele kubage nko sunga na wako chito wetu. Muzi zunezo ilipu memlo nye nwake. Lifige li dale pilwe ni zetu. Na ati nko siyam si bwana gali. Si bwana gali si ambisi vangeli yako. Yesu kuzuzileyo chito wetu. Sa kufuma na gule paibu studies. Ya mela na genko si. Nemi mwaya yonke si aikali mela. Ge kama nko sina ge kazi. Elga Yesu Christ kwa sena za rete. Mi moya nko sina metita kaza chiku wetu. Ingi zvilako tu wala lenti njiso yetu. Oko bana linga bina stata. Linga bina zimbambe pilwe ni zetu. Sinege zege nkulungulo ingwe li ngambu. Impande nkulungulo na manja onke. Ukolo sinege zelo neza nse mshabeli. Muze nkulungulo na manja onke. Sibe ibane, sibe ngu sauti. Muze nko sina mbusinde haba nigi. Singa zange nko sina msa kunuma no kunuma. Ocha bebo nu wamba kwe tu. Sia kulega ke msali. Sinigeza kusutu mwane mbebo. Sikena glibala chito wetu. Elizo na se Ukraine mwyo ingwele. Ge kama nko sina ge kazi. Uteza upela zongi mfazo chito wetu. Sinigela guwele ni Jehova. Kumalo nko sia muindi otayempi. Ngu Jehova siba hoti. Ngu Jehova upal perezim. Fosha ge mwyo ingwele. Beko na nko sia muzinzo. Ndok tula. Kulela lizo. Ge kama nko sina ge kazi. Iga chesu krestu. Kwa sena za rete, siza kosiam, ni rashi ya chito wetu. Kiala kosiamo ingwele, kizo ga moya, kupi kizo elike chito wetu. 
siyathana zamtela wethu kusuka tembile chipo wethu ukhona ukuthi chipo wethu singabantu bana bakho bena ke nkosi udumona embekwe gama enkosi asegazi ele nkosi Yesu Kristo wasemazareth amen Amen. Siabulela kakulu ku mama umfun sutati ngom tandas. Bazalwane sendi nam kelege nonke naba sanda wungena. Nam tanje si kuba isiris ye Bible study on Apostles Creed. Uh, I am aware uguti bazalwane uh, le Lumtimbi we Apostles Creed Ubanzi. Uh, if you take one tenant, you can write volumes of books. Koto and Dite must be we see more soges condisane, Gale Galumba Ubalegle, you call in wait. If I were to ask you what do Christian believe? How would you respond? And the Afuna and Juguva band to Besicho Uguba Nango Guam, the King Babanda Bakolai, the Konda Gua Umdu Une Gapande was Nins is you take yourself out of Christians and you. You declare your faith and get the letters. If I were to ask you, uh, uh, what do Christians uh, believe? How would you respond? Is there any any person who wants to attempt the question? Is there anyone? Okay, in the absence of anybody attempting the question, uh, let me let me say that uh, whatever you, your your answer would be, but uh, I I think the central tenant of Christianity is the belief in Jesus Christ as the son of God and the savior. Christians believe that Jesus as the savior was anointed by God as savior of humanity and hold that Jesus coming was the fulfillment of messian messianic prophecies of the Old Testament. So in, in, in short, we, we can say that is the central, central tenant. We believe in Jesus Christ as the Son of God and uh, the Messiah. Now, we are talking about a, an apostle's creed. What is a creed? Um, well, get, there are so many creeds. I am referring to Christian creeds here. Uh, you can get creeds in, in many areas of life or in many professions, but uh, I'm talking about Christian creed. Christian creed is a series of defining statements that express the core beliefs of Christians. There are statements. If you look at the Apostles' Creed, you will get statements. Uh, those statements, they express what we believe in as, as Christians. In other words, those statements are the objective truth that all Christians believe. And uh, now we are 
here talking about Apostles' Creed. Um, there are many people who think that this, this creed, which is called Apostles' Creed, was written by apostles, the, the disciples of Jesus Christ, which, which, which is not the case. Apostles' Creed was not written by the apostles as, as we may think. Um, the Apostles' Creed is, is actually a variant of the old Roman Creed, an ancient baptismal confession that existed long before the Apostles' Creed was developed. So the Apostles' Creed is one of the most dominant Christian creeds and is used in a variety of baptismal rites and reformation catechism. If you look at most of the catechism of our denominations, you name them, uh, uh, Methodist, Anglican, uh, Presbyterians and, and other churches, uh, you will find that they are catechism uh, contain the, an Apostles' Creed. And um, it, it is one of the most dominant creeds, as I have said, and is used in var variety, as I say, in variety of bap baptismal rites. So in a service where baptism would be conducted, uh, it, it was a must that the Apostles' Creed should be uh, recited or, or taught. Apostles' Creed serves to affirm the core tenets of the Christian faith. I have said that. Now I want to mention, mention those core tenets. Uh, those core tenets are God, the creator, Jesus, his son, born to a virgin and later crucified, then resurrected to join his father and ready to bring judgment the Holy Spirit, the church, communion, forgiveness, resurrection, and everlasting life. So those are the core tenets that we, 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 we get in the Apostles' Creed. So, so as I say, the, the Apostles' Creed affirms these core tenets, these uh, very important tenets that we believe in. All these are communicated through the creed. Uh, I, I don't want to waste time I don't want to waste time to, to read to you the Apostles' Creed. I'm sure you know the Apostles' Creed. Uh, well, if you, if you missed anything, don't worry. There is a lineup. There are people who are going to deal with uh, these tenants. But uh, uh, I think we know the, the Apostles' Creed. Now, despite its position as one of the most prominent Christian creeds, there remains some confusion and controversy over two lines. If I, 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 I read 
the 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 apostles creed you would uh, understand what i am saying but uh, uh, i i assume that you know the apostles creed there are two lines that are uh, uh pose some controversy or create some confusion when the apostles creed is is read it is it it is important to know that in line 14 the the alliance uh, or in in phrase 14 of the apostles creed uh, there is a reference there to apostol sorry to catholic and uh, that word catholic does not refer to roman catholic but to the church as a whole a more general term than the context to which it is normally applied today. As a result, some, some, some elect to say the Holy Christian Church uh, to avoid this confusion and this controversy, uh, instead of saying, I believe in the, in the Holy Catholic Church, they would say, I believe in the Holy Christian Church. Another line that remains controversial is line eight uh, that says he descended to the dead. I am not going to talk uh, a lot about these controversies because there are people who will be dealing with them anyway. Uh, another line that remains controversial is line A eight. Uh, that says he descended to the dead. This line is often backed up with uh, uh, 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 19. However, this requires a lot of assumption to be made about the text. As, as, as a result, many elect to simply omit the line entirely instead of trying to justify to justify it with assumption so there is a lot of controversy in 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 jesus christ uh, descending to the dead i i'm not sure whether we we ever thought about about that phrase and what what what, what do we think when we we we, we read that Jesus Friends, there are many, many creeds that uh, the church developed. Uh, I am going to mention, I, I know there are a lot, there are a lot. Uh, I am going to mention just 13 of them. With, with special emphasis uh, on, on, on uh, three or four of them, but others I will just mention. The second uh, creed that we have as Christians is Nicene Creed. That is the second creed we have. Um, un unlike the Apostles' Creed, Nicene, the Nicene Creed was developed in response to several heresies that were gaining traction at the time, particularly Arianism. This, this heresy favored the depiction of God's unity over the existence as part of the Trinity. So those people uh, decided to, to develop the Nicene nice Creed to deal with the heresies that were there. They, they, they claim that God, uh, the Iranians claim that God was so unique that Jesus could not have existed self-sufficiently and therefore Jesus was created by God. That is the belief by 
Arianism. Uh, that is the heresy that was there. So uh, these people had to deal with the heresy. The heresy is a wrong teaching. It's a, it's a, it's a teaching that is contrary uh, to, to the word of God. So, so these people were, were dealing with that heresy. They wanted to, to put things right. Uh, uh, so the Nicene Creed was, was developed to combat this heresy by emphasizing the elements of the Trinity and Jesus' status as part of the Godhead. Not that he was created, but Jesus is part of the Godhead. Various alterations have been made to the creeds since its creation in, in AD 325. Uh, the, the Nicene Creed was created or was, was uh, developed in 323 AD, such as the addition of what has become known as the filioque. Uh, I, I just want to say, uh, uh, friends, I am not going to deal with this uh, theological terms. Maybe those who will be dealing with the tenets uh, in, 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 in depth will, will talk about what we mean by filioque. This phrase, uh, this phrase adds further emphasis to the, to the concept of the Trinity. And one of the last notable alteration added in, in this filioque, filioque uh, proceed from the Father or the Son and the Holy Spirit uh, is a, is a, is a theological debate or is a theological statement that is in the uh, Nicene Creed that who, who uh, Jesus proceeds from the Father and the Holy Spirit it proceeds from the uh, from the from the sun and all that so that was developed that, 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 that there was a an alteration that was added in ad 589 now uh, i'm not going again to recite or read to you the nicene creed um uh, i i think you will find time to to look at it, I think we have it in our manual of faith and order. Uh, if you 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 can't find it in in in, in any way, then you can you can also Google it at um, at your own time. <laughs> I just want to save time as much as possible. Now, the the Nicene Creed provided an important distinction for the people of its time that has lasted through the years. By emphasizing the status of each member of the Trinity, they are members of the Trinity, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So by emphasizing the status of each member of the Trinity as part of the Godhead, the Nicene Creed set itself apart from the prominent heresies of the, of the time. Creeds have a way of making people choose. All creeds, I said I'm going to mention 13 of them, but they have, uh, um, they, 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 they have a way of making us choose. Choose whether uh, they believe what they are saying or not. So if you read the creed, it, it makes you to, to choose whether you, you, you believe what you are reciting or not. The creation of this creed and others like it created a choice, 
eliminating the, the middle ground and helping people to distinguish between all the differing interpretations of the time. So that, that, that's how important the, the, the creeds uh, were at the time. Uh, I, I mentioned, I said there are 13 creeds that I'm going to talk about. I've mentioned Apostles' Creed, Nicene's Creed. There is also uh, the Athanasian Creed. Athanasian Creed. Number four, there is a Chalcedonian de uh, definition. There is Didache. Didache um, is a, is, this is a Greek word. Uh, it simply means the, the teachings of the 12 apostles. Uh, that is a document that originated in the early, early church and has creed-like nature, describing fundamental components and instructions for Christians. So if, if somebody uh, mentions this, this big word, didache, you must, you must just say, I know what it means. It means, it simply means the teachings of the 12 apostles. I hope we, we, we understand that, that friends. Uh, and they, those, that teaching of the apostles is, is just a document that originated in the early church and has a Christ-like a, a, a Christ -like nature describing the fundamental components and uh, the instructions, um, the instructions or, or for the Christians. The sixth one is the uh, uh, baptismal creed of Jerusalem. That is the sixth one. The seventh one is the Westminster Confession. I, I said I am going to talk about some of these because they are very important for us. Uh, like the, the Westminster Confession of Faith. Uh, I'm sure some of you are, are are familiar with the Westminster Confession of Faith. Uh, the Westminster Confession of Faith came about due to the conflict in the Church of England. Uh, at the time, they were hoping to unify everyone under the English Protestant Church. This included Scotland, which was largely Presbyterian at the time. The, the, the Westminster Confession of Faith was intended to, to lay out a baseline for Christianity in England that would unify the church. It, it detailed what they believed about a variety of topics. Most notable, their views on scripture and their affirmation on Calvin's view of predestination among other things. So the development was, was a rough process with the king coming in and out of power and the Scots refusing some of the practices that the king was trying to enforce upon, upon them. Uh, the, 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 in, 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 the, in those days, the king wanted to, uh, to take charge even uh, of the, the spiritual affairs of, 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 of the church. So uh, the Scots, they refused uh, that the king should, should uh, participate in, in their faith. While it never met its original goal in the end, the Westminster Confession had a lasting impact and would become a fundamental piece of Christianity in Scotland moving forward. So that is the document uh, you will hear us 
referring to even even today the Westminster the Westminster the Westminster Con Confession of Faith. The eighth one is the London ba London Baptist Confession of Faith. The ninth one is Augsburg Confession of Faith. The tenth one is Canon Can Can Canons of Dort. Uh, the 11th one is Chicago Statement uh, on Biblical Inerrancy. Uh, the 12th one, 12th one is Nashville Statement. Then the 13th one is referred to Biblical Creeds. Uh, biblical Creeds. Ultimately, the more, the more important creeds come from the Word of God itself throughout the bible but particularly in the in the new testament we see examples of people confessing and declaring exactly what they believed for instance uh, saint paul in philippians uh, uh, chapter chapter 2 Verses, verses five to 11 has this to say, have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God, a thing of, a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of man and being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So that, that is Paul saying this is what I believe in. Uh, if even Jesus proclaimed the truth of, of who he was and the good news of the kingdom. You will remember Jesus saying, uh, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If, if we see great men like Paul and Peter confessing what they believed, how important it is then for us to also be aware of and proclaim what we believe. Some dismiss creeds. Uh, I've mentioned six, uh, 13 of them. There are people who dismiss creeds as old liturgical practices that no longer apply. There are people who say we should not follow this any longer. However, I would encourage you, friends, to take a, sec a second look and recognize how valuable uh, these are. As I have said before, creeds encourage people to make a choice about what they believe. So I, I want to implore you, don't live in, in ignorance or indecision. Read through the creeds and the confessions above and study the word and write your own. You can develop your own if you want, uh, as long as it, 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 it will be a way of encouraging yourself to, to get closer to God. The point isn't that you, you wake up and recite the Apostles' Creed every morning. The point is that you have a firm understanding of what you believe 
in and out. This is what we discussed uh, with Umkone um, um, Umfunsumakakane the other day uh, to say that uh, uh, it is good that people recite Apostles' Creed, but um, uh, we 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 are really worried <laughs> that people, as much as they recite these Apostles' Creed. Uh, uh, do they have a firm understanding of what they believe and leave it out? Because that is very important. You don't say, I believe in Jesus Christ, and, and it ends there. Uh, this is a call to say, now that I believe in Jesus Christ, how, how do I conduct myself? How do I do things differently as, as a person who who... Who, who, who believes in, in Jesus Christ. I, I want to encourage us to, to move on from indecision and in, in ignorance and take responsibility for the truth of what we believe. Well, I, I just want to pick up three, three creeds. I, I have already mentioned them. They are, they are called ecumenical creeds, and they are an, embar uh, um, an umbrella. This is the, when we call them ecumenical creeds, it's an umbrella term used in, in Lutheran tradition to refer to the three creeds, uh, that is Apostles' Creed, Nicene Creed, and Athanasian Creed. I've, I've asked a question. Uh, I don't. I don't know whether. I don't know whether you still remember what I said. I. I. I defined the Christian creeds. Uh, let. Let me. Let me. Uh, uh, try to define it again, in a different way, perhaps uh, a, a more easier way for all of us to understand a creed. A creed. Uh, is a confession of faith. A creed is a symbol, if you like. A creed is a statement of faith. A, it is a statement of the shared belief of religious community in a form of structured uh, subject summarize, summarizing the core tenets. I have mentioned the core tenets. Uh, the lineup is coming, they will be talking about those core tenets. The, the earliest known creed in Christianity is Jesus is Lord. That is a, 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 an earliest known creed uh, in Christianity. Jesus is Lord. It originated in the writings of Paul, of Paul the Apostle. Now, let, let, me, let me concentrate on, on, on the two creeds then. I've mentioned the Lutheran, um, I mean, the ecumenical creeds uh, that are called, um, uh, uh, those, those three that I have mentioned. Let me concentrate on the most obvious or most important creeds that we have in our church. Uh, the two most popular, commun commonly, commonly used creeds uh, in, 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 in our churches, the Apostles' Creed and the Nicene Creed. Now, uh, I'm, 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 I'm going to an end now. The Apostles' Creed and the Nicene Creed are both ancient creeds tracing back to the origination of the church. The church has chosen these two creeds to be recited on different events. Um, why, why are the creeds important? Creeds provide rules and standards for God's people. That's, that's uh, how important they are. Uh, one of the most important functions of the creeds, especially the Apostles' Creed, like all faith creed, is that it helps the church 
to teach and to prepare new believers for faithfulness and maturity in the faith of the church. I, 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 I assume that all ministers, when they do confirmation class, they would never finish uh, confirmation class without dealing with the Apostles' Creed because it, it is very important. Uh, now the question may arise, is Nicene Creed as same as Apostles' Creed? The Apostles' Creed has been in use during baptism while the Nicene Creed is mostly associated with the death of Christ. As such, it is recited during Lent and Easter times. So that is how these two creeds were, were used uh, in the early church. When you are in the baptismal service, you would use uh, Apostles' Creed. When we, 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 we are in the season of Lent, or Easter times, then we use Nicene's Creed. Uh, the difference between the Apostles' Creed and the Nicene's Creed, the Apostles' Creed and the Nicene's Creed are both ancient with roots tracing back to the very beginning of the church. The church has selected in her wisdom the two creeds to be recited on different occasions, as I have said, the decision on which creed to recite is holily, especially now, is holily dependent on the ordained church leader. So it would be the minister who, who would exercise that, uh, that, uh, that choice uh, on, on which creed uh, to use in the service. These creeds, uh, they, they exist several differences between the two creeds. However, regardless of the two serving almost similar purposes during some religious occasions, they vary in some aspects ranging from the history to the source as well as the wedding. Wedding, well, um, not wedding, but the word from the word. If, if, if you are interested in a deeper analysis of the two, the, the journey should have started now uh, or should start now. If, if you want to know more, about the deeper analysis of Apostles' Creed and, uh, and, uh, and uh, Nicene's Creed. But as I have said, the lineup would uh, help us to understand all these things. It, it, is, it is a detailed topic that without enough resources, it might be hard to go through. So we, ne we need some uh, resources to, to go through and understand. Uh, some of these things. Uh, the history, uh, I, I have mentioned, but I, I, ne I, I need to uh, make clear some of these issues. The, the present text and context of the creed have similarity to the baptismal creed that was used in the church around the third and fourth centuries in Rome. In the late 6th and 7th century, it reached its final form in the southwest region of France. The creeds gradually replaced the existing baptismal creeds and got an acknowledgement as an official statement of faith by the entire Catholic Church in the, in the West. As, as of today, many Protestant churches widely accept the creeds. The churches use it in worship, 
although some, for example, the United Methodist Church deletes the lines indicating that Jesus uh, upon his death descended to the dead. I, I, I have mentioned that, that there is a controversy on that. Uh, there are people who don't want to accept that Jesus uh, ever went to hell. Um, friends, that, that is uh, in the interest of time. I just want to leave it there. I want, I just want to leave it there. Oh, the, in, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, because I, I was about to finish. Uh, the other important point in, 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 in differences between the Apostles' Creed and Nicene Creed, I said it is the wedding. The wedding, not uh, umchato, as I said, but the words. The, the wedding in both creeds differs too. The Apostles' Creed be, be, begins with, I believe, while the Nicene Creed uses, we believe. Uh, the wedding descended into hell is recited in the Apostles' Creed, but it is absent in the Nicene Creed. The, the other difference is on, la is on language. The Apostles' Creed has an origins, has an origins in the Greek language, although the earliest manuscripts uh, are in Latin, while the Nicene Creed was produced in Greek. So those are the differences. Uh, the in-depth on, on the tenets, I, I have already mentioned that will come up with the lineup uh, from today up to, up to June. We'll be dealing with this uh, the, the creeds of the church uh, from now up to June, where at the end, Reverend Makakane will, will summarize uh, whatever we have said. Friends, thank you so much for listening to me. I appreciate uh, your time, and I hope that we, we can take these few minutes remaining to engage or ask questions on, on what I have, I have said. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Is there any, any question or any comment? Is there any question, friends? Eh, Mkoni? Eh, Mkulua. Yes, sir. Eh, nani, nani nonke bazalwani ndi ikela ukunubuli sange kameleche eh, le mkosi ame ngu yesu. Amen. Amen. This is actually what I feared uh, when you delved into this one. What we are going to have two enemies uh, against this exercise. Eokala, Olokala, Ochabolokulu is going to be time. Yeah. Um, time is becoming, and I think in in all intents and purposes, time is be fast becoming a real enemy in the attempt to to study uh, the Christian faith and. Uh, and I, I feared also that, that Christians are going to think that this cannot be termed Bible study. And, and how wrong would they be? 
uh, in in thinking. So I I want to thank you, Kakulu, Kakulum Kulua, for gathering enough courage to to want to get into this uh, into this teaching uh, around the creeds, around the I believe, uh, the confessions of faith. And uh, I do not have a question. Um, uh, mine is, is really a comment and I, I want to ask uh, friends uh, in this platform for the duration of, of us dealing with uh, the Apostles' Creed that in Atingesi Sibuyela we would need to pray as hard as if no amount of preparation can ever help us and and prepare as hard as if no amount of prayer would help us. And go sika kolum kolu. Akolo mnenawe se abonga kolo. I I think what what. Uh, Mkoni uh, is trying to say is that uh, uh, time is a very important commodity. And um, uh, I think we, we need to use our time. Uh, remember, we are stewards of time. Uh, we must use it uh, profitable. For, for 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 us to to be able to do what God uh, wills uh, uh, about impilo uh, yet. So I, I I what I'm reading to Umkoni is that uh, as I have mentioned in Doyoguti, these tenants I believe in God the Father, the Creator of heaven and earth. That that tenant Iodwa has produced volumes of books. Uh, if you go to a library and you, you, you're looking for uh, this topic, uh, the, 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 just the first tenant, you, you, you would get uh, many, many books. So my, my sense uh, of what M. Kony is saying is that uh, if it calls us to, to come twice a week for a Bible study, say for instance, uh, next week, uh, we must be uh, willing to say, we're coming back tomorrow. We are coming back on Friday so that So I, I'm sure that is a call. Um, 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 Umkoni is trying to make uh, that we don't rush anything. There is uh, 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 we, 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 it's okay, it's okay. But what I'm trying to say is that we cannot uh, deal with this uh, over the time that is allocated. Other people, uh, they will feel that uh, they have not done justice on, on, on what they were asked to do. So that, I think that is the call uh, from Um Funsumaga. Um, I can see the the comments in the in the chat box. Uh, will you die for Jesus if you believe? 
in him that is a question uh, and the, the, there is a um, a comment on on appreciation uh, there is also uguti nganyalo ana nomfundzi makakane eh le nkonzo iphakeme kakhulu so so bazalwane that's it is there anyone uh, who wants to make a comment before we close okay thank you so much let's let's meet in this platform next time uh, when I when I when I'm reserve. Who can abandon reserve. God and I was sell to Babakunegun and down. Masitanda se se bule lobo kuluba ako lobo sheba ako gosi obo chila yokuti se bule la utando olunga aga lobo chila esinengeni na sasungonpe ni sabando na bako ubeke ipango lobo lampe na wena tunangosi isinjusi na so sisipiwe nguwe. Gazongo se se netemba logos buise la kuwe kono kuzi uzuko ibelo loako kubeki sagen kosi amlenjongo kono kuzi ngayo silo zuzu sindiso si abule lango singe zaka zako chito wa mo ingwele ba fiche kazi nlaako nabo satano tabando ningabo magupegele kuute magkasa na nenabo. Konuko zikabola ako linga nganyo luato. Bawo ingwele, siya ubulela lomzuzo se utritapa. Kwa siya musata na kaspakanga. Ngo basi kile zuni lako. Izu lako lingo wele ya pila. Izu lako lisisbane senyao zetu. Sinigela nge mizimba yetu. Sinigela nge ngondo zetu kuwe somanda. Konuko zikisa benzele. Imilebe emilomo yetu. My father is so to Molaco, who to Monosuko Namanta, Nobukos, my Beku and Somata, Tinanko Soko and Goxian Nipa, Ukuzi Tabola Colis Sabet, Sebuyumfa, Chetoam, Ukuz in Changoyako, if you get a legacies good, Togomesa Gengos in Tresio Zetu, Conucos a stylus Nintrasagale, Conucos a stylus Langa Zelena, Silanga Zelena Suena Sifuna. Chito wa amona manja onke, kunge yi yu nzuzo ye nyama, kunge yi yu nzuzo ye mfuno zetu, koko yiku kolsawe. Tandazo, uve, konuko zengo siyamu nga aolo mtandazo, utobi nsigele lo yako. Tobi ngeba ya kwenga zange pene. Usibege nko samazo milo nye mitu. Konuko za ili izu lako. Libe impili iso kwa balifayo. Izu lako libe intu tuzelo libe nga manja. Nga ye u Yesu Christu nko sietu. Amen. Amen. Siapulela, siapulela mfunsu amu. Kutiko, usunetile ngawe. Bazalwane, siapunga kakulu.